You guys know what I'm doing right now? I'm trying to make sure the little focus square is following my face around. Little trick I have to do once in a while. So it looks really friggin' goofy on the camera when I go to edit. And I'm sitting there dancing around like I'm in slow motion, but I think we got it. So anyway, tonight, welcome back to the Tradesman Channel. We are starting to work on face frames for this cabinet that we've been building. We have two nice sized pieces of black cherry slabs, one inch thick, that we have to yeah, we have to mill them down, get them to the proper thickness, get them to the proper widths, and then we can move along. So first things I want to do, I want to set up a rip fence for my circular saw and cut these edges off right here. Now what we're going to do, because there's a little bit of a cup in these planks, they're, they're good and wide. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them a little bit wider on the table saw. Run them through the planer, get any of the cup out of them.
Okay, when you get everything broken down to your final width, your final thickness, you go through, and before I take them to the chop saw, I, I kind of get a plan going what I want to do. So what's important to me is you're going for everything as square as you possibly can when you're breaking the stock down. Sometimes it gets off on you a little bit, but usually you get one side that's really good. Now these are all pretty good, but it's just like everything else we do here when we're talking about reference faces, things like that. I want my square's edge to be to the inside. Wherever I'm going to have another piece tying into it, I want it good and square. Otherwise your face frames are going to have spots in them to where you're going to see they're not tight. You almost want that line to disappear as best as you can make it. Now like I said, we are not doing the, uh, we're not cragging these together. So these have to be really good. Um, so I've gone through and I've done that. I just use my combination square and all I do I just go through and put it all on there, see what we get. As I said, these are pretty good, but there's always a side that's better than the rest of them. Unless you have super, super equipment, and I do not. I'm working with a lot of old stuff that I've had to uh, do things to to make them run right. So that's, that's the price of it. But anyway, what we're going to do now, we're going to break them down on the chop saw, get everything to the final lengths that we need, keep in mind. You're shooting for a little bit longer for your tenons, so that's always something you really have to keep keep in your mind, back of your mind. So anyway, we're going to keep going. All right, big thing, you're laying out your face frames. Again, we mentioned reference faces. Again, it's funny how everything we do entails reference faces and things like that. So this top rail here, this is made a little bit wider to make up for the quarter inch dado that we are going to put into the countertop on this. So when you're laying out your face frames and you're determining the widths you want, things like that, you really got to think about what your reveal is going to be, what you're going to have. So say I have my drawers here, I want a half an inch in between the drawers and the doors, but I need enough meat on there for the doors and the drawers to close again. So that'll give us, these are inch and a half wide, these uh, rails so that'll give us the half inch in between if we do a half inch overhang on everything same thing with the style here that goes up for the drawer you have our styles on the side and we have a bottom kind of like a baseboard type thing for the bottom we're going to trim it out further than that but this is for the face frame i like a good wide board on the bottom for something like this obviously you don't have that when you have cabinets with toe kicks but this does not we don't need a toe kick for this so nice wide one it's going to keep everything nice and square going up through the other thing you want to keep in mind get everything laid out first get everything measured kind of set it up put it together make sure you like the look of it because the way we're going to do this we're going to be uh, mortise and tenoning all this stuff together so when we get going on it, that's the design. There's nothing moving on it. So make sure it's something that you can live with for a lot of years. If we're doing the Craig screws, you know, we could adjust. We could adjust if we had to. I mean, once obviously, once the doors and the drawers are made, you're probably not going to be doing a lot of adjustment on there. But anyway, all right. So tomorrow we're going to be getting on, getting these uh, mortises and tenons all cut. It's getting late tonight. I've got to go in and edit yet from today's stuff. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to hit this hard, try to get this part done, get it mounted on the cabinet. We have dado to cut in the, all the way around, we have dados to cut in the countertop. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure if I have any discrepancies in that top or anything, I don't have any gaps where that thing meets the top of the cabinet because it'll be the first thing the eye goes to every time you see it. But this isn't that hard to do, but it is time consuming. You really have to think ahead as to how you're going to put this together, just like in a timber frame, anything mortise and tenon, you really have to keep your steps in mind. So probably what we'll do, these outer styles, we won't put these on until we have everything in the middle put together. And like I said, we are not doing a middle style. I'll show you how what we're going to do with the doors that will keep us from needing one of those. Because I like, on a base cabinet, I like a good wide opening so you can get stuff in and out of there easily. If you put a you put a style up the middle of it, it does give it a little more strength, especially on that middle shelf. But I find that it gets in the way quite a bit when you're trying to put things away. So anyway, 
That's her. I hope you guys enjoyed it tonight. I'll catch you guys on the next one.